A large homeless camp in National City has officially been cleared out. For about a year, dozens of people were set up along the 805 freeway. Well, now, according to Caltrans officials, the area needed to be dismantled for health and safety purposes, along with the people who live there. So now that the homeless camp has been cleared out, where did all those individuals go? And how is National City managing their relocation? Joining us now to talk more about this is the mayor of National City, Alejandro Sotelo Solis. Madam Mayor, good to talk with you. How are you? Buenas tardes. Good afternoon, Logan. Uh, so where did all the people go who were living in that homeless encampment? Well, over the course of the last uh, few hours, the um, several services have been provided. So we had County of San Diego, McAllister family, uh, Alpha Project, uh, along with our National City PD, our HOT team, our Homeless Outreach Task Force, as well as um, you know, the County of San Diego uh, to really help provide resources for those individuals who were going to be vacating that illegal homeless encampment. And so as of Tuesday, we had, uh, again, nine individuals out there providing those resources uh, for hotel vouchers, enrollment in uh, county project uh, programs like CalFresh and, um, you know, uh, job enrollments as well and other health resources. Uh, because this was, uh, you know, going to be cleaned up and Caltrans, uh, you know, has uh, done a swift job of uh, eliminating uh, the trash and debris from that area. It looked like it was quite an effort. I mean, there was furniture there, uh, shopping carts, a lot of bicycles. We saw barbecue grills, all kinds of things. How long did it take and what was all involved? Well, you know, we um, have been asking for help for the last year and um, uh the litter abatement committee was provided and created by the um, uh, Sandag leadership with Catherine, Mayor Catherine Blakespear. And over that time, we've talked about mini grants. We've talked about uh, improvement uh, dollars to uh, help us, um, you know, uh, address the homeless uh, in that in the Caltrans right of way, which we as a municipality have no jurisdiction over. So for us, it's been that year of asking for help. And because of the pandemic and the health order that didn't allow for any removal of uh, encampments, um, you know, our, uh, their hands were tied and as were ours, but didn't stop us from having community cleanup, didn't stop us from engaging and making sure that, you know, at least some areas were clean, but it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. and. Um, the uh, little fire that happened over the, the weekend really helped to push that button with Caltrans. And now we have, um, you know, removed that uh, homeless encampment. But to your point, where do they go? We can provide, you know, services and, you know, vouchers for a temporary time. Um, but we need long term solutions. We need housing. We need affordable housing. We need wraparound services for mental health. We need, um, you know, a multitude of, of topics to be covered. Yeah. But it, it all comes down to uh, the state of California providing us some of those resources. Such a complex issue for sure. One of our reporters, Dan Plant, was there just a few days ago, and he was showing us that on the other side of the freeway, there used to be a homeless encampment, and then that was cleaned, and now we've got this one being cleaned, and a lot of us here started thinking, well, what's to stop them from maybe going back across the freeway or back to this location in a day or a week? Is there a timeline where they're not allowed to go back? And, and if that ends, will, will, are we you expecting them to be there again? You know, at this point in time, that, that is a possibility. But we're going to, you know, um, stress the fact that we want those uh, folks to take advantage of the resources to uh, better their situation, to get into a uh, habitat or some type of structure, um, a home or a apartment or, you know, temporary shelter. Uh, because in National City, if you're not willing to take uh, advantage of those resources, you're putting not only yourself in danger and at risk, but you're also putting the neighbors and the uh, residents in that area uh, at risk, and we cannot chance any of that for our communities, especially the ones that are taxpayers, the ones that have endured um, seeing and, and being in that scenario for that time being uh, the last year, at which, you know, nobody wants to see that outside of their window. Sure. And we 
and National City uh, aren't taking it any longer. And that's why we're working very closely with uh, the, the state of California, our Caltrans representatives uh, here in the district and making sure that we get the resources we need yeah. um, to have the cleanups and continue to encourage the wraparound services for those homeless. Hopefully they'll be getting the help that you're offering uh, and that it appears as though they need. Alejandro Sotelo Solis, mayor of National City. Uh, great to see you. Thanks so much for taking some time on a Friday afternoon for us. Thank you, Logan. Take care. Yep.